Hey, Mike here. It's been an exciting couple weeks in the stock market. If you remember a month ago, people were worried about the fiscal cliff. And I told you, just forget about that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. And stay in the market or buy more. And you can see what's happened. The U.S. stock market has gone through its fall highs. And what's even more fun is that markets overseas have just boomed. They're taking off. You can see this is my portfolio right here, which isn't even 100% invested in the market. And I'm up just about twice as much on a percentage basis so far this year as the U.S. stock market is. And the reason why is because I'm invested in markets that are starting new bull markets right now. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. How to invest in the financial markets and make the most money. Because it's a little bit counterintuitive. What people tend to do is sit back, watch CNBC, and they do one of two things. They either think, I've got to come up with some short-term trading strategy or buy stocks and jump in and out of them because I don't believe that the U.S. stock market is going to go up big over the next couple of years. So I've got to trade, 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 or else um, they are too scared to do anything. When in reality, all you've got to do is be invested in the right stuff and ride it out and look for markets that are starting new bull markets. The problem is people want to do that when everyone else says it's good. They want to buy Apple when it's gone up 200% or something and then feel good about it. And you've got to kind of be a contrarian. Let me show you something. You wouldn't believe this, but the best stock market in the world in 2012 was Greece. And I invested in Greece last um, summer, around August. Now, if you remember back then, uh, let me show you images of Greece. If you go to Google Images and type Greece, this is what you're going to see. You see chaos. You see riots. You see fires. And there are literally, for real, Nazis in Greece marching around and communists marching around. I mean, skinheads and police riots, street demonstrations, unemployment over 20%, 25%, GDP economic growth contracting 6% and a quarter. And you see this chaos that was going on this summer and still going on to a certain extent. And this has been the best stock market in the world to invest in. In fact, my investments in Greece, I bought GREK, and I'm up 57% in it. 57% since August. Well, how can you make 57% in something? You know, is it easier to make 57% in your account by trading in and out? in trying to make 1% or 2% 25 times in a row? Or is it easier to find one market in one position that's about to explode in value and buy that and write it out? Use your common sense. It's easier to invest in new bull markets starting out. The trouble is people have a tough time doing this because normally, almost always, the optimal investment point isn't after things have gone up for three or four years and everyone is excited about it but when the news is bad when bear markets have run their course and everyone else is scared to act it is at those times that valuations are cheap that opportunities are there for those prepared to take advantage of them. and when the Greek stock market was at this level when there are riots in the streets literally blood in the streets uh, there are Greek stocks trading at like two and three times earnings paying dividends the Greek stock market as a whole, that GREK ETF, was, pay, was a trading at a P of like 5. And that's an absurd valuation for a country. And the thing about it is, it's still at a low valuation. There's markets still priced cheap, such as the Ireland stock market, which I'm also invested in. And uh, what I want you to take away with you is, look, there's new markets too that aren't, haven't started new bull markets yet, but they're positioning themselves to do so, I think, over the next couple months. They're not immediately going to charge higher. And in fact, um, if you think about right now, 
the S&P 500 is trading at a high. There are people now feeling good about the market, now feeling good about buying into it, when a month ago they were scared. And you don't want to really be taking big positions in the markets when people are feeling good. You want to do it after corrections, after pullbacks, when people are scared. You know, the fiscal cliff news that scared people out of the stock market, provided for negative headlines, was a buy bank buying opportunity. And at some point this year, we'll see a little correction in the market again, a 5% pullback, a 10% pullback. However big it is, I don't know. But we'll see bad news come out. It'll be at that time that you'll want to be buying stocks. Not when the market is trading at a new high. Not when th this coming week we're probably going to see positive earnings reports and excitement on TV. And it isn't excitement that excites me into taking new investment positions. It's bad news. It scared people. And I take advantage of those fears. I take advantage of weak hands in the market. And that's how it's easy to make money. I take this position, I sit back, I relax, things go up. And meanwhile, you know, everyone else is trying to trade in and out on these silly stocks and do whatever. And it's tough. It's a tough game to try to beat Wall Street hedge fund trading programs. It's, it's a tough game. It's so much easier to buy where the hedge funds won't go. And when I was buying Greece in the fall, uh, Wall Street institutional investors were f pulling out of Greece because they didn't want to show, you know, that they're invested in Greece because it would look like, oh, I've made a horrible mistake. I've ridden Greece out and lost all this money. So they sold out. They cashed out. And at, when I was buying GREK, there's only, it's an ETF that invests in Greece. It only had like $10 million in assets. Um, so that's what I look for. I look for these opportunities that are there because everyone else is too scared and they've taken the markets down to stupid levels that create super cheap valuations and it's the fear that you want to buy into it's riots that provide investment opportunities and that's what I want to tell you about and uh, look on Friday I did a, a private Wall Street window power investor webinar that's the private closed service. If you're not a member, you cannot get in. Don't even ask about getting in right now. And we went through um, individual stocks, individual sectors that appear to us to be lining up in a position to begin new bull markets this year and provide the big returns that we've seen in Greece and seen in other European markets, the Italian stock market, the Spanish stock market, all these markets that you were told to be scared of last year on uh, by CNBC are providing us with big gains. And you can see it. You can click up uh, to the top of the screen where it says portfolio and see my holdings. You can see the positions I own that, you know, they've given us good gains now, but I think we'll continue to go up. I think these positions can go up a lot this year, but I'm always on the lookout for new sectors and new opportunities. And um, and I think uh, to give you a hint, uh, I don't want to take a look at commodities, okay? And uh, look at oil, look at energy, uh, look at those sectors and see what they're doing and see how they're basing. And if you've read my book, those sectors that are forming stage one bases that will probably be completed in the next couple months and if I'm right they will break out and go up big time and these are sectors too that really no one on CNBC is talking about either um, you got to look for these ignored places you know this week we're gonna see earnings from Apple we're gonna see earnings from IBM we're gonna be see earnings from other big Dow components and that's all they're gonna talk about right you're gonna Turn on Jim Cramer in the evening and you're going to hear them talk about earnings from the big popular stocks, the big popular household name companies, while uh, invisible to, to the CNBC viewers are these uh, silent trends going on, the stage one base that uh, you know people don't pay attention to uh, that's forming in energy stocks in mining stocks and once that pattern's complete it's going to be off to the races but you've got to look for the markets people are scared too scared to get into 
or too bored because there's this going apparently seeming to go nowhere. They've been recovering after a bear market in a stage one base. That's what you want to invest in. And that's what I'm watching and that's what, you know, I'll tell you more about over the weeks as they come. Uh, we're researching them in the Power Investor Service. We're talking about these stocks. Um, I can't share with you that information because that's private, premium information um, for high net worth investors and for even institutional investors that are a part of the service. Um, but, you know, I'll talk about with you, if, you, if you're not on that service, um, stuff in, in a general manner, which is enough to help you make money. Uh, you know, I talked about Greece publicly uh, last year when it provided this wonderful entry point, and uh, sadly, most people were too frightened to do anything about it, but some people weren't, and those that weren't, and, and that includes me and, and some of the people watching this video, uh, have made out like gangbusters on this investment. And the thing about financial markets is that they tend to forecast six months ahead of time. And what that means is right now as we speak, uh, the Greece economy is poised for a 5% contraction in GDP growth this quarter. But it's been in a depression essentially for the past couple years. And uh, the, well, the economists project that this quarter is the trough of that economic uh, depression and that by the end of the year we're going to start to see economic growth in Greece. And that's why the Greece stock market essentially bottomed out six months ago uh, because it was forecasting this trough that we're entering in now. And it reached a super low valuation so it bottomed and it's been going up uh, since then essentially. And uh, interestingly enough there's still some Greece stocks that have not entered bull markets, and we're watching them too. Uh, they're still in the process of going sideways, even though the overall Greek stock market is going up. There's still some stocks lagging that haven't turned up yet that you know we got our eye on and we're watching uh, because they can double or triple once they do turn up. So this is a wonderful you know market to make money in. If you look at it globally. You know, if you just pay attention to S&P 500, this is a tough, tough market uh, because uh, the S&P 500 is not in a position to go up 20% this year or even 15% this year. You know, it may go up a few percent from here, uh, but it's more of a range-bound, low-volatility market, and that's a market that's tough to make a lot of money out of. You basically got to squeeze money out of it. You know, it, use a lot of your muscles and a lot of your mental power uh, to do it and try to play trading systems or chase stocks and it's so much more easier to get in something that's just starting out a new bull market to go that's poised to go up for one two three four years and you just buy you sit and enjoy it you know you don't have to expend so much energy and that's what I aim to do that's my philosophy and I'm going to share it with you and I just want to drill into your head the notion that you invest where others aren't. Invest where things are not popular. That's how you make big, easy money instead of try to make little money in a hard manner over and over and over again. So, with that said, um, enjoy the week and I'll be talking to you later.